it's a freezing spring day. Welcome to the Fully Charged Show 2022. Having just about got myself up to speed with the world of EV, I thought now might be a good opportunity to get myself up to speed with the future of EV. Where are we headed? From my point of view, coming here, the surprise is how much bigger picture stuff there is. I was expecting just EVs, maybe some cables, certainly some home chargers. Is that reflective of where we're at, do you think? You know, here today we've got, I, I don't know, walking around the room, maybe 75% associated with electric vehicle charging and optimizing electric cars and, and how you charge at home. Um, there's much less stuff on, I suppose, batteries and heat pumps, etc. But we're forecasting that over the next 10 years, batteries and solar and um, air source heat pumps are going to be a, a large part of the, the home ecosystem. And that's where our technology comes in. So tell me, what are you guys doing here today? We develop an energy management technology that helps people with who have already got an electric car, they might um, be thinking about or have also solar and batteries installed. Um, uh, they might be considering removing their gas boiler and replacing it with an air source heat pump. We help bring all of those assets into a single app, a mobile app, um, and through the app the, the customer can monitor all the assets from one place, they can schedule when to switch on the electric ve vehicle charger, when to optimally run the air source heat pump according to the solar that's being generated, um, while also taking into account any kind of electricity tariff that they might be on that um, varies in cost throughout the day. Your app, literally, you're running energy being created by the home or harvested by the home. You're running your vehicle, yeah. fueling. What we do get involved in is um, maximizing use of the solar energy that's being generated by the home. And if, um, you know, by the, towards the end of the day, the, the sun is still shining, um, the, the stationary battery that's installed is fully charged. The car that's connected to the EV charger is plugged in, that's fully charged. At that point, we will then also switch on the air source heat pump to start heating the electric, the, the hot water that they're going to be using that evening to make sure that you're maximizing use of the solar energy you're, um, you're generating rather than exporting it to the grid. So tell me about this battery that you're mentioning. Tell me about that, the idea of, because that's what's been a lot, isn't yeah. it? And the, so tell me about that, the idea so, that we store now. I mean, batteries have been around for a, for a really, really long time, um, but um, larger batteries um, that can, you know, be put on, put on a wall or, or on the floor that generally store between kind of five kilowatt hours up to, in some cases, 15 kilowatt hours for larger homes, they're designed to, to increase the consumption of, your, of the solar that you generate from your solar panels. Um, and I suppose the, you know, the, the, the benefit of having a battery there is that traditionally, I suppose pre-COVID, most people were out of the house during the day. And so all the solar energy that the solar panels were generating would be exported to the grid. And the homeowner would actually see limited benefits of, of having solar on the roof, other than obviously getting paid the feed-in tariff that, that they, they might be eligible for. With a home battery, that excess solar power that is consumed by the home there and then is stored in the battery so that the, the homeowner can use it later in the evening when they come back from work. Um, and that, that energy stored in the battery can be discharged to, to meet the loads in the home. Um, uh, but it can also, um, some homes are now um, switching to export, dynamic export tariffs. So Octopus Energy, for example, offer um, uh, their outgoing Octopus tariff, uh, which is a dynamic half hour tariff. and a came, for, for certain half hour periods through the day, it can be very economic to actually export the energy that you have stored in your home battery to the grid because the, the cost of energy at that time is really high because there's very high demand and maybe lack of supply from um, on the generation side. So uh, you, you could get paid, you know, maybe 30p or in some cases earlier this year, you could be paid a pound per um, uh, kilowatts for um, uh, exporting energy onto the grid. There's 
one category that's conspicuously ab absent, and that's cheaper cars. The whole industry is going through convulsions, and it's very difficult to predict where that will end up. But... And I think, unfortunately, they've got their heads slightly in the sand about what is actually going to happen over the next five years. You know, it's going to be over 200, 250 different makes and models of electric vehicles. But... Do you want to have a go at the government, or shall I? Yeah.